Frederick Douglass died in February 20th of 1895, the U.S. Senate actually considered a motion to have his body lie in state in the rotunda of the Capitol. Unfortunately, it was, uh, the motion was quashed by a senator, ironically enough, from his home state, birth state of Maryland, uh, just didn't want uh, this honor to be bestowed upon a uh, black American. And uh, so they didn't do it. Uh, well, the good news is that other uh, Washingtonians uh, respected him enough to have him lie in state uh, and honor him at the uh, African uh, Methodist Episcopal Church in D.C. And then his body was taken to Rochester, New York, where he lay in state at City Hall. And he was ultimately buried at Mount Hope Cemetery in Rochester, New York. I don't think many people know that Frederick Douglass, in addition to writing three, count them three, autobiographies, he also wrote in 1853 one of the first works of fiction by a black American entitled The Heroic Slave, about a uh, slave who uh, led a mutiny on a uh, ship called the Creole. Uh, Frederick Douglass uh, was actually on the liturgical calendar of the Episcopal Church. Uh, February 20th, the day of his death, is celebrated as a feast day for the Episcopal Church, and he's listed as a prophetic witness. In 1877, Frederick Douglass was appointed U.S. Marshal for the District of Columbia. It's an ironic post for him to hold because prior to the Civil War, U.S. Marshals were employed to recover fugitive slaves. Uh, Frederick Douglass, of course, himself was a fugitive slave when he ran away from Maryland and escaped to his freedom in 1838. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Frederick Douglass uh, himself did not know he was nominated to be vice president in 1872 to run as uh, on the ticket with Victoria Woodall for the Equal Rights Party. Uh, he was actually going to campaign for Grant uh, for president. Uh, but uh, the great news is that here was a black American who was actually considered serious enough uh, to be placed on a national ticket.